lovely purples we are playing the game called banishes ghosts of new eden today and the game hmm, what is this game about i'm just gonna read the steam text it's saying hunt ghost is two memorable characters in a story-driven action rpg where decision carried dramatic consequences torn between honoring your oath to the living and saying your departed partner how far will you go for love Developed by the Donut and published by Focus Entertainment, the texts are narration, lore rich, third person, and emotional. And I can already feel I, I might gonna be very emotional today. There is also there also the I'm, I'm clicking on the the text here. It's also saying horror actually. Choices matter. Vampire, okay. Cinematic, supernatural. All right, and combat. Let's see what kind of combat this is and if I can do with that. Tubbing in and starting a new game. And we can select your difficulty story for players who wish to focus on the narrative. Easy for players who wish to enjoy the game with a forgiving combat challenge. Normal for players who wish to enjoy a balanced experience of story and combat. Hard for players who seek a challenging combat experience or very hard for players who seek a very challenging combat experience. The difficulty modifies enemy damage, enemy health points, the amount of dick decoctions you can recover after encounters and the timing of exploration puzzles you can change the difficulty whenever you want during the game so that's not a problem at all that's actually pretty pretty good um usually i'm playing the game on normal but um i'm not quite sure if like if this normal is elden ring normal then i'm not quite sure if i should stay there but on the other side i can just well we can just go back to to the story mode or whatever right we could also do this to be honest yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what to take here. Should I take easy or normal? I'm going to take normal, I think. If it's going to be like fighting like in Assassin's Creed, then I can deal with that. Very hard. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. You're trained with this. Yeah, I'm just... I'm also not quite sure if I'm going to have... What kind of weapon I'm going to have. I'm not quite sure. I would say normal. I think I'm also going to do that. Hi, Odile. Good evening to you. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. Normal, then. And I hope this uh, game runs pretty well on my PC. It is very demanding, by the way. My my GPU is exploding a tiny bit. And, uh, well, it's 24 degrees in my room and the radiator is not running. Let's see if I can handle Avatar, the stream, and the game. Story time. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Hi, bruh, mate. <laughs> Hi, Josh. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the stream. Dreams of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. This graphics looks great, yeah, and I think it's not even on the highest. I dreamed. I of actually didn't adjust that. In the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. Good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous. <laughs> oh, <he laughs> Need to go to sleep and I'll watch until I'm asked to fall asleep. You're like, good night, mommy. Sleep well. <laughs> They're kissing. I'm serious. <laughs> if the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. Now be careful, Master Duarte. Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Antea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> <laughs> Glory, my great. Go. 
gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say, and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have been <laughs> those ties. Good evening to the weird snakes are the friend who made on the way. <laughs> it comes to us all. Cute. To haunt or be haunted. Charles. There lies the true horror. Which he said, Charles' letter. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. What does it look like, Captain Holt's husband? <laughs> New Eden, June 7th, 1695. Damn. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I think he's very, very handsome. In the summertime, I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Oh, look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it. I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. Marry him? Nah, you I'm not going to yoink somebody else's death. man. I would never do that. You may well be disappointed. No, no, no. Sisters before misters, right? Mm hmm Never, absolutely never, never. That's a big taboo for me. Scotland, dude. This accent is so good. I agree. <laughs> I agree. You had better be at the tavern. No shotgun. I'm actually not quite sure what but kind of grog. weapons we're going to get. Or two. <coughs> All right, uh, W is to move, and then the camera seems fine. I think the sensitivity is fine for me at least right now. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. It's beautiful here. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time, <laughs> but I don't disagree. Your crowbar game on play for mode and installing from me was coming. <laughs> uh, press W and E to cross over under obstacles. Uh, ah, okay, interesting. I was actually trying to to crouch there. I think you cannot crouch. No. Ah, okay. This is my weapon. Interesting. And how can I climb up? I cannot jump. So this is dodging. Space is dodging, actually. I wonder if it's better to play with the controller again. Whoa, what is this? I'm holding right click and then I'm uncharging. Look, a big fire. And I just don't know how to get up. And I think I've got... Wait, maybe I need to do WE again. Nice. Yellow paint gamer said... What is this yellow paint thing about? I heard about that. What is that? Can somebody please... Elaborate, explain. Do gamepad streamer for us chill sofa gamers? <laughs> you would do it, right? No, I think it's too late. I'm committed. Now maybe I need to aim and then I can't aim with control. Oh, Red Seas doggy, look at them. So cute. What's here? I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go trade some. I found some some flowers or herbs. Interesting. Capital G gamers being idiots again. I'm still not understanding that. Oh, yellow void. No, mm, climbing Looks spot. No, there was uh, there was something about yellow paint and it's spreading like a virus or something. Nothing to waste time. Okay, all right. Then we're not going to do that. <laughs> all this is uh, would make me feel very uncomfortable. <laughs>
Well, we need to find another way then. Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. I'll find it. Am I? Can I just? No, I cannot jump here. Also not here. Can I climb here? I can break my way through here. Breakable elements. <coughs> to destroy breakable elements. So this is breakable? No. Nothing. Is this breakable? I need to learn what's breakable in, in a in a game like that. Is this breakable? No. No, nothing is breakable. Great, I'm already so <laughs> already stuck. But it's ah this one, okay. Because I was uh, following the compass. All right. We just climb over the Me too. I would also do that. I think a lot of things are just climbable. But in every video game I need to figure out what's what are my limits. Okay. So I'm not able to jump. So when you're pressing the space bar, you are dodging. Imagine Mirror's Edge coming out today, Reddit would explode. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Alright, so this is a ghost. Then uh press it to light damage. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Another ghosty. Hello. Yeah. To oh wait ah oh hello. I didn't see you. Oh there is something here. Oh you're here? You same spectral dust. Are these spectres watching the road? Maybe. But are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? Ghosties. And maybe that's why it's having the horror attack because it's a tiny bit spooky. <laughs> um, with ghosties. And I guess you can break through or you can take some. What am I even taking? Ah, leather. Oh, there was leather? Okay. Um. Yeah, she doesn't have any block ability, but you can dodge, which is good. But it's going to be weird for me not to jump normally. Can I just go here? Mimi? <laughs> okay, I cannot go here. No? Oh, over here. <laughs> See, these ghosts only die in like three hits. We need to change to very hard difficulty. thing. <laughs> like 20 hits to kill it. No, that's just the beginning. That's the tutorial. That is just the tutorial. I can't just go down and she's Behind also you. walking slower now. That's cool though. Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. So he's gonna stay there and I'm gonna go this way. Can't tell how long these people are dead. Oh, we're going in a, a the circle. original settler, perhaps. Whoever, this doesn't bode well. This way or that way? Well, it's this way. More ghosties? Banishment. Attacking with your weapon fills the banish gauge. I already saw um, where my avatar is. There's like a yellow bar. When the banish gauge is full, press E to banish a target. Time to leave for good. Ooh. Oh, this is uh, actually very satisfying. Oh, behind me. Uh huh. You're dodging actually quite far. Interesting. I found a letter, a note. Oopsie, a note. Damp and bloody. Perhaps these words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date? I cannot say. I know it is the month of June in the year 1695. Thought we could be, we would be safer in Providen Providence. Thought we would finally see the children again and the golden wheat fields would ring with their laughter. Their mother now lies dead. And I shall join her soon. Something insidious walks the roads. Terrible spirits took us. 
New Eden is cursed. You who reads this now, I'll tell you run. The we're not gonna run. New Eden Town just a few days ago. Mm -hmm. What exactly is going on here? Oh, there is something more. Oh wait, no, we just read this one. The red light indicates an incoming incoming attack. Yeah, it's interesting um that they're showing this. A good indicator. Oh, my PC is like a tiny bit. Okay, so this is an alpha wonder. Hold right click to do a charge attack. Ooh. They're hurting a lot. Okay, uh, I just healed myself. Just to see. So I got two potions left. Is this a Ghostbusters prequel? <laughs> Maybe. Definitely a bit more scary. The scary version. By the way, there is gonna be. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm not quite sure if I'm. No, I, I, I don't think I, I'm allowed to talk about this. Actually, never mind. Forget. <laughs> Forget. <laughs> I didn't say no. Okay, good. Hello, Schwarz. <laughs> good evening. Welcome to the stream. Worse than you thought. <laughs> Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. I think we're gonna be I think we're gonna be able to to play as the other character, as Red as well. I think I remember seeing this in the trailer. Other town selectmen sitting on their asses. Isn't that what selectmen do? What does it say? Boston, Fort Jericho, the Harrow's Hamlet. Well, you never heard anything. <laughs> New Eden Town. So this is New Eden. It's probably super nice looking during summer. Look at the moon. Welcoming committee. Let's find the inn. Let's is there a chance. map? Mm, tap. There is. So I pressed M. There was nothing. But when you're pressing tab, you're having uh, this map here. But I think I need to discover more. Oh, it's pretty big. Oh, <laughs> it is pretty big. It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? Esther wouldn't dare. Pretty word for a set of shackles. A pretty word for a set of shackles. I'm sure for area of investigation. Just you have reached the location of current object. Your compass now indicates that you are inside an area of investigations. Look for the inn. Alright. This is looking like an inn, right? Hello? <laughs> Can I knock? <laughs> Never mind. Do you hear this sound when you move around the map though? Um You heard like a, a small clicking sound. In Red Dead, it was like a small wind. <laughs> All right, um, let's go this way. This is cemetery. No, who's this? Hello, sir. Good day, sir. You'll be Haskell's banishers, I take it. Antea Duarte. This is Red McRae. Pew bachelor. The governor had me prepare the schoolhouse for your comfort. It has fallen out of use. Will that be all? Where's the inn? Where are the children? Can ask this first. Where are the children? Several died of fever. We could see disaster coming. We thought we'd have to bury them all. We sent the children to safety. We sent them away. That can't have been easy. It can't be easy now. No. No, it is not. And then we should ask where the inn is, but probably somewhere around. So, kind of, a uh, name <laughs> is red anyway. Poker monster. <laughs> red, blue. Where's the inn? We're expected at the tavern. Where might we find it? The King's Arms. You can't miss it, for the lamps are lit. The school is now a bunkhouse, and the meeting house cold and dark. 
but the tavern shines yet. Well then, let us be thankful for small mercies. Look at the clothes, by the way. They are looking so amazing. I love that. It's authentic. Farewell, Mr. Bachelor. And you may wish us luck. Good luck, then, to the both of you. Thank you. He Charles Davenport at the end. Um, he wanted to go this way, right? Oh, there is something else. A note. The devil's work. Townhouse filled with sinners to hell with evil worshippers who do the devil's work. We should have sent them all away. God watches us here as we live willingly with treacherous liars. These chanting demons, demons will not get the likes of me, but they might corrupt the weak-minded. May fervor, fervor, and prayer bless or bless or our souls in these times of trial. That was so hard to read. <laughs> I suspect it to be a little worse than the devil's work. Must be. Letting us Scots Catholic walk about unchanged. Doomsday has come. Great. Sets the door. Also, we're also walking backwards. It's cool. It's actually very cool. Small details. Hello. I must take a moment by myself. Excuse me. There's the inn. I am always hearing so many rats. It's insane. <laughs> Oh, there's also something <laughs> here. Take a leather, right? Yeah, we got leather. Probably gonna be able to craft something. Um, meeting house, schoolhouse, dog cemetery, and there are also uh, curfews. This part of town is closed by the governor's decree. The path to the meeting house is closed by the governor's decree. Okay. Can I read? I guess they're all the same. No cemetery is closed as well, but I think. Oopsie. Oh, there is a photo mode if you want to. Wait, we're gonna go to the inn first. And see uh, where Charles is. Oh, this looks very, very comfy. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Pour us a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is cold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGrath. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train back. This here is thick skinned Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? <laughs> is this Red Dead Redemption 3? <laughs> Ten years earlier. We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are. Oh, yeah, New Worlds to too. Shock. Hmm. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here New in world was also looking so, so nice. precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitude. Hi, Manu. Hello there. Nice. Welcome to the stream. Well, Good evening. Point still stands, we'll be doing well. Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing. We are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. Company has suffered terribly. 
but we are worth saving. Now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to Oi? remember how we found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that he we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. Leo, the moment is dry. What do you think happened? Could your physicians not save him? Sometimes you just can't, right? Being bad and not sleeping soon to get to work where I sit again for it all. <laughs> but at least you're comfy now. <laughs> Are you prepared for tomorrow? What do you think? What happened? What do you think happened? Sasu Leo! I could guess. Baby! It's a little use. It is evident, however, that Charles' unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists. And neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport. He's an excellent he icebreaker, who he is. <laughs> not much venture out. <laughs> very, very handsome. The you can't I see them right now. A, a tiny bit. Across a pretty meadow, but uh, he rip. refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. But the curse was at the town cemetery. You said demonology. Hmm. So curious about the rest. Um, heading to bed. Good night, Dion. Sleep well and tidy. Yeah? Get some sleep, please. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, Bonnie, you were definitely prepared for the rest of the week. Even that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Otherwise, it's gonna get uh, probably too too boring. Why is the town so empty? Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. And where did they go? Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. Mm, will they return? That's the question. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken, perhaps forever. All right. Um, is he studying demonology? That's the question. You're a demonologist. Another you question. <laughs> I am that. Like my father was before oh. me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem, which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said, as the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock, as Charles and his banishers lift the curse. 
heroic work all round. Perhaps we'll come for advice. The thing is, when I'm hearing about demonology, I'm thinking of World of Warcraft again as a warlock, but I don't think they were talking about this. Huh? But I'm having my reading, meeting of, of the job center. Are you nervous? Hope things are going well and they can help you out with that. Yeah, I hope things are going well. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. <coughs> we do it all the same. Because we must. Aye. Because we must. About the curse. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Yeah. Worse yet, it traps us here. I think this place is always going to be super dark. What caused it? What did Charles know? What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a hurt. Which is funny because I was talking. himself with honor. I was talking about you the abyss to do far at the beginning with a, with a soundtrack. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right. For Charles. All right. Goodbye then. Uh, sorry, but I'm going to write that in German. No worries. Um... Uh, okay, now I'm also understanding, I think. Um... Even though that's, um, I, I've never experienced this on my own. So you're going to have, um, you're going to talk to people from the faculties where you're going to learn for two years then. Well, I, I still hope, uh, of course, uh, that things are going well and you uh, you can figure out some stuff, we, which, yeah, the stuff you can do, actually. Uh, the next of the game looks interesting. But I'm looking forward to playing it, too. Um, I think it's offering you lots of lots of story, which I am... We have what we need. Lacking a lot already. Well, I wish you success. But it's definitely very My story driven. The room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Well, that's good for me. That's good for me. Other people might gonna say, "Oh, this is too much talking, less uh, steppy step." But I'm, I'm I'm really good with that. The compass indicates the direction, Damn distance Charles. towards an objective. Follow There's the yellow marker to meet with es storms. Esther. If only we'd been here earlier. I oh, know. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people are idiots. These people are helpless. These people have no idea what they're up against. I'm just going to walk, I guess. I'm, I can also just run. It's a bit faster. Good night, Germano. Thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate that. Thick skin, right? We're sorry to disturb you. It'll take more than you to disturb me. What do you want? Do you intend to leave? What's your role here about the curse? So, the curse. What do you think is going on? I think nothing much about it. I think folk sickened and the crops failed. I think folk went mad. And I know we found the Reverend dead. About Governor Haskell, about Captain Pennington. What of the Governor? Anything I should know? That useless clack wagger. With Davenport dead, godly folk look to be led. Fairfax Haskell couldn't be happier. I pity he'll get them all killed. About the Captain? What of the Captain? Now there's a man of worth. Without Saul Pennington, there'd be no town left at all. These last months have been hard on him. I hope his metal holds. If I had my way, he'd be coming with us. I don't give a rat's knacks for loyalty. The captain does. 
All right, then maybe we can ask um, for her role, right? What's your role here? What's your role here, if you don't mind me asking? Lately, I do what needs doing when no one else will, weakened as they are by comfort and the curse. In normal times, I hunt. Now, though, it's cold enough to freeze the nankies off an horse. And the game rots as quick as Oh, no, I on. know. I'm getting here some plague tail it, wipes. Can't skin it, can't sell it. So what will be the use? Maybe it's because uh, it's around the time. Maybe because of the rats, because of the ability. But I'm definitely getting some plague tail wipes here. Uh, do you intend to leave? I mean, everybody does, right? Hi, <laughs> dear Shoki. Hello there. Welcome to the stream. A colleague of mine bought this uh, game <laughs> today. Well, well, um, we're testing it out today as well. Just to see if it's good so far. I like the story. I take it you attend. Right, lip plague tail. Lip plague tail. It reminds me a bit of great fall. Hmm. Deranged. Yeah. You're living alone. There's no hope at all. There's no hope for New Eden then. Not till the weather changes, and it don't look like changing. Well, I would say it's pr it's probably going to change at some at some point. Will you go alone? I'll take my sister and anyone else who wishes. You may come too if you wish. You look like you can handle yourself. All right. Um. Then we talked well pretty then. much about everything. Thank you for your help. Arigato. Aye. Aye. Um, and this one is uh, locked. I think the governor said that house stood above the docks. Maybe we're gonna find more people to talk to. Yeah. There's something shiny here. Maybe we're gonna be able to craft our potions. I could imagine that. Oh! Can I talk to her? I cannot climb over the fence, all right? <laughs> then I'll not do that. Aster. I'm here. Hello, hello. Antea. Red. Come in. Wait, have you played Quifa? No, I haven't, but I think it's also um, published by Focus. So the same publisher here as well. I, I only know uh, the, the trailer, I think. Or maybe I'm even remembering the tra trailer wrong. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you But I think the landscapes were kind of looking the same. These dark times. Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends, but that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I oh, he tried. Questions, but I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Is there anything we should know? How were things before about Governor Haskell? <laughs> Thank you so much for lurking and listening, Pan. appreciate that. Have a good night, yeah? Later on. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. And of course, thanks for the kind and encouraging words. Of course, I think it was very necessary, necessary that you were hearing this today. <laughs> Sleep well later on, yeah? Thank you so much for tuning in. How were things before? How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. 
I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. About Governor Haskell. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He's an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin New Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so, too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. Is there anything we should know? Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. Hmm, goodbye then. Uh, same publisher, but publisher doesn't mean anything. They also publish show That That's true, that's true. But I I don't know which publisher it was, but there is always one publisher who's always releasing um, or working together with devs who are um, working on assimilation games, for example. So it's uh, kind of going to the sub direction. But yeah, generally speaking, that's not always the case. And Plague Tale and Heart Spaceship. Yeah, it's actually one of my favorite publishers. <laughs> um, very much underestimated, but I have um, a bunch of uh, games of uh, Focus Entertainment um, in my catalog. And I think th those games are actually pretty decent. Very, very decent. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. All right, let's look around. I think we can uh, find a lot of things. Newspaper. Hint obtained, we'll tap a parche. If I'm to your first hint, if it contains important information about the person it is linked to, you can refer to these hints at any given moment through your haunting cases. Okay, interesting. Oops, what? Ah, okay, I pressed tap haunting cases. All the old friends, landfall followed. Understand why Charles lingers. Investigate the study. Investigate the bo bedroom. All right. We can do that. Um, there is lots of lots of stuff to to grab and read or inspect. Porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him He's so. watching. So do we, Esther. <laughs> Blizzard? Blizzard? A letter. Bundle of letters from Charles, 12th day of August, 1694. My sweet Esther, I was down and yet you were there to support me. You are an angel from heaven to help me in my dark mission. You are the light that guides me through the darkness of the invisible. And yet I feel so sorry for bringing you to this tortured land. You know well that things are not as they should be in New Eden. And I'm sorry to have you by my side for a fear for your life. I wish we could have found a quiet corner of this land there to raise our children. But I fear a curse. I think we should leave. Or perhaps you should go ahead while I defend our home. Think about it. For I cannot bear the thought of darkness taking you away from me. Your love forever, Charles. Also reminds me of the other investigate game we played for some time ago. Yeah, I was also thinking about that, but I could not remember the, the name of uh, the game. It's just entirely gone. We're not talking about, was it called Shadowlands? No. Maybe? I don't remember. Fifth day of January, 1685, my beloved Esther. 
how I long to hold in my arms the announcement of her marriage was to my heart as a delicacy on my palate, as sweet of which on one cannot tire. At last we shall be together, and together forever and ever, until the day many years from now on when we are old. At last death separates us. For only death can extinguish the love between us, and I'm sure that not even death can undo the tenderness I feel for you. I want everything to be perfect for marriage, and I will make it so. I will write to you every day until that blessed moment when I can finally shed the weight of letters and tell you in person every day how I feel about you. I'm thinking of you, your love forever, Charles. Imagine getting a letter like this. Damn. Where were you staying, my dears? The governor had a room prepared for us in the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse? Wouldn't you rather stay here? We'd be more comfortable. I don't know. I need to check it out first. Kind. A long day ahead of us. Do you want to bother you? I don't have much. But promise me you'll come for dinner tomorrow. For all time's sake. Of course. Sherlock Holmes. Could could I be Sherlock Holmes, but I think Newby was streaming that, right? I was sick again. Uh, 21st day of February, 1687, two years later. My sweet Esther, I can't tell you how much I long to get home. This work in the mystical Scottish Highlands is exciting. I can't argue with that, but I miss the sweetness of our home. However, I know that the few months I have left away from your loving arms will be of great benefit to me. Through this experience, I will increase my knowledge and all this I do to protect you from those dark worlds that swirl around us. It is your love and trust that pushes me into the, these mysterious entrenchments, that pushes me to do my best. It is for you that I do this, for when I can see the pride in your eyes, then I know what role I play on this earth. I know that I can be stronger. I know I can do anything as long as you look at me with that spark that is only yours. I'm thinking of you, your love forever, Charles. Oh, Charles. Um, maybe there are going to be more Mr. options to talk about. I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Nah, it's uh, the same. It was newbie, right? I remember we'll keep he popped off. <laughs> he solved the first case. Very I'll nice. Here if you need me. Very, very nice. All right, then uh, let's inspect this one. A new Scotch teen in G major by Henry Pur Purcell. Purcell? Could you find nothing better? <laughs> These days I lack the heart to play. Can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. Rather game of <laughs> you remember? You part a pianist from their beloved keys. Now I can inspect it. Because we were still talking to her. Interesting. Letter from Eleanor comes. My dearest Charles, in November 1694. How delighted I was to read your words. It is always a pleasure to hear from you and to know that yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I have contacted our brothers in London, but unfortunately we could not find anything in our archives that matches the description of the events you have experienced in New Eden. Be that as it may, pestilence and never-ending winter is a phenomena perhaps too, too broad for us to pinpoint the exact cause. I can give you no better answer. Be it sorcery, the presence of an inker, iker, or something else entirely we cannot say. All I can do is invite you to continue your research and to take note of all of, all of your observations. Our Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stowe has so little presence in the new, new world. Any new information shall be precious indeed. Please stay safe, my friends. Yours truly, Eleanor comes. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. Mm. If only we had known what would befall us. Yeah, it's always like that. So I need a key for this one. Um, there is something else we can inspect. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their home. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Mm. Oh, there's a jacket. No, it's not a jacket, right? This is Charles's. It's like he never left. Mm. There's more to learn here. 
Yeah, but I need keys. I actually need quite a few keys. That's a happy key. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Letter from a neighbor. As there is some food and ill for you, so for your loss, your neighbor is salty in their hearts. What kind of them giving food? Are you hungry, dear? You must be starving after such a long trip. Oh, I thought we said we'd have dinner tomorrow. It's no trouble. We'll save your provisions, Esther. I'm all right, really. Rory McGrath isn't hungry. <laughs> Truly, doomsday is upon us. <laughs> <laughs> Music is so. Sadness and interval or a study of the Aeolian scale by Heinrich Piet Pietri or Pietri. And this one. Another book. Printed book. A study of H. Purcell's a Shackney in D minor for strings by E. Dave Davenport. Well, and I still don't know how to get up. He maybe just asking for a key, just uh, just an idea. Inspect. Oh, that was the letter. Well, I can't go through this door. Oh wait, wait, wait a second. There was upstairs as well, right? Over here. We still need to study the uh, investigate the study in the bedroom. But uh, interesting to read. There are so many details Charles actually. Still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him, and now he's back. He's looking ghastly. like a study. It must be unbearable. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green <laughs> for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. What's that? Like a baby umbrella inside. No, <laughs> a chess piece. A precious came from a chess set protected by a, ga uh, <laughs> a glass dome. Okay, a baby umbrella. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? Well, there seems like a map. Some kind of a hint or just looking at stuff. Okay, no more interaction. Oh, I think we found the key item. So every time you're getting this yellow symbol, then you know you're at the right place. Echo. Occult book from Charles' personal collection, Tod für die Toten, by Balthasar Hans Frenhofer. Death for the Death. Always fun to see German in game. <laughs> so I can, I can uh, translate. Charles notes, none on his side of the water and few in the water know that I came to New Eden as a minister in order to purs pursue research into the new world on behalf of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stowe. What strangeness have I found? There are ghosts here. Yes, old and innumerable, but they are quiet. I shall never say the word aloud, but I suspect there are to be witches. And if I find one... I shall may very much like to ask for her, her for her story. You see, welcome back to us. That's annoying. Hope it's not going to happen anymore. Theological book from Charles' personal collection, Formicarius by Johannes Nida or Nider. Panish Dakwa, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome here. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Another book, uh, for Portalitium Fide. By Alfonso de Spina. Well, that's definitely Latin. <laughs> All right, let's see. Inspect scribbled Bible verses. Job 7, 13. When I say my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints. 14. Then those scares me with dreams and terrifies me three visions. 15. So that my soul chooseth strangling and death rather than my life. She comes to me in my dreams. What? Charles's notes mention Job, chapter oh, 7. Oh, Job, not Job. Job. To 15. I'm sorry All about that. Oh, something dropped here. Red, you dropped something. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Mm. What's that? Interesting. What did you do? All these dreams have in common. 
are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions foreshadowing? Is someone behind this? Who is the weird target and would cause this anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our hands. Sleep no longer offers rest. And this cannot perdure. I'll follow from YouTube, very cool. <laughs> no, thank you so, so much. Uh, yeah, for tuning in over Twitch, then. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Well, welcome again, then. <laughs> and hint obtained for Charles. It is like Sherlock Holmes a tiny bit, huh? Charles was worried about the influence to the threatening spirit had on the settler's dreams. And time not obtained. Progress in investigation to obtain hints. <gasps> oh! <laughs> no, that's insanely kind. Actually, insanely kind. Thank you so, so much to the anonymous gifter. Thank you so much for gifting yourself to Punish Dagwa. That's insanely kind. Very, very kind. I appreciate the support. Thank you. I remember when Mimi called me on Skype and asked, Yo, Thogi, what are you doing today? <laughs> Where <laughs> are you supposed to maintain it? Is Skype is this still existing? said, yes, I'm spontaneous. How can I serve her? But just <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's go ghost hunting. I was very scared, but you, you were totally unimpressed. Do you know what you find next to Aqua? A duck duck sit. <laughs> Thank you, dear Dust. Thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, there's a hype crow clo close. Not gross. I can't speak anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much, dear Dust. I appreciate the buds. Thank you. At ghost hunting we were. I was very scared, but you were totally unimpressed, but only because you had your blade cloak on, plus King Arthur's sword with 10 plus 10. <laughs> Spelled every check code. I've never felt so safe. Thank you, me. Just wait until we're going to play Fosmo. Mm hmm. I am going to be very, very scared uh, at the beginning, and then I'm going to troll my friends again. Mm hmm. For sure. Oh, there's a path held surprises and many bad omens. Red and Tia had last reached need and oh, this is just a summary then investigate the bedroom all right in case you're not going to play for a long time you can then you can just go back and read a bit did we read these stuff no we didn't have time to do that oh no we did right uh johannes nida or nida and this one what was that oh yeah for talitium fide I'm a fast move. I was actually also such a pro, but well, it's been actually four years now. Remember when he started to wear these to look wiser <laughs> and older? Oh, he was hiding his hair loss. And that's the bathroom. There is another book here. Where do nightmares come from? <laughs> Oh, Thuggy, thank you so much for a gift. It's up to Delia. No, thank you. That's very, very kind as well. Thank you so much. There is a hype train. Now, there is a nice uh, a possibility to, to earn the emotes done because they they are redoing the, the emotes um, a couple of years ago. I just saw it today, actually. Thank you so much, dear Thuggy. Thank you for the, for the gift. It's up to Delia. Very kind. Thank you very much. I remember the teaching of my masters. May God bless their souls against the threatening unknown when the common knowledge is not enough to understand the situation. This sages and pious man will, will wisely turn to the very roots of this. His art, the words, their meaning and the power hidden in each of them. Nightmare has nothing to do with a nocturnal female horse. As in the French uh, Gauchma or the German Nachtmal, Mayor here comes from 12th century Middle Dutch and means ghost or demon. A nightmare is not a puny fiend sneaking into the bedrooms to suffocate the dreamers, but one of the rarest and most powerful spirit defined by its only purpose to spread its insidious and unforgiving wrath upon any living soul it may reach. According to my research, no cultist ever successfully banished a nightmare. But why? Could a nightmare be more than a ghost? I'm afraid so. I remember a disturbing poem I read in London in my younger years about the terrifying abilities of such entity, supposedly able to penetrate the dreams of its targets to influence their thoughts and perception and make them endure their worst fear, able even to bend the distance or alter time, creating tantalizing and personalized nightmare its victims can't hope to escape from, 
such a petrifying concept. I pray God with all my heart, and so that this is not what has risen upon us. How would we then escape despair, death, and doom? I need more information, but where to find them? Then Charles is very, very much interested in, yeah, in the topic of having a nightmare. Doing definitely some research about that. You're always welcome. You thank you so much, dear Sergi. So thank you. Appreciate the support. And of course, to the anonymous gifter as well and Desnix as well. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you're going to get a nice uh, gift out of it. Uh, not gift, but uh, a nice emote. This is his brooch. A silver brooch habitually worn by Charles Davenport engraved with a distinctive three hilted sword. I see. Charles oh! always wore this brooch. I got a bit scared. <laughs> These things are untouched. Nothing's moved. As if nothing happened, huh? Children's psalm. Lo, children are in heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is in his reward. Psalm. Is that actually true? Actually, I've got a Bible here. <laughs> it's not because I'm religious. It's because of my art history studies. There was a semester where I had to learn lots of passages out of the Bible. Actually, I even had an exam. Because Middle Evil art history is uh, pretty much only about Christian, Christian stuff. And uh, we had to learn basically um, of which passage of the Bible the scene is. And oh boy, there are lots of scenes I had no idea about. It was insanely hard for me because I was not, um, um, I was uh, grown up in a household without any religion. And uh, I had to learn pretty much everything about Christianity. And that was uh, interesting and also scary. I did know that the Bible is full of um, stories of dead people, actually. It's <laughs> so brutal. I didn't expect this at all. Dr. Snow, three drops of lavender oil in chamomile infusion before sleep. Wintergreen to rub t between palms and behind ear three times a day. If restlessness persists, use lemon balm. Mm. All right. Well, that's probably better than just taking pulse for everything. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there. Oh, you actually listened. Mm. I'd always let my mind wander. Hmm. And then there is uh, the cursed item. Investigate the bedroom. Unsent letter to Esther's sister. My dear sister, Charles is that I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has come undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I could not attend the burial, the shame of it. How I have figured my dear husband. I just cannot find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died there to see him buried. That's not easy at all anyway. Not at all. Lord, have mercy on us and guide our friends to us before it is too late. New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words left in me, but I thought that you who loved him so should know of his passing. My love, Esther. She didn't send the letter. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. It is. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. Yeah, it could have made him manifest. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. And I wonder if we're going to see some ghosts over there. All right. It was very kind of you that we were able to yeah, look around. Um, Maybe you should say Esther, goodbye. I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? How are you bearing up? Do you have bad dreams? I'm gonna ask this one. With all that's happened, how are you bearing up? This all feels so unreal. Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now, but that will change. I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? No, it's not your fault. Did I fail Charles? No. None of this is your fault. I do not want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. 
I do not permit him to be gone. You're in pain. <sighs> Life might have brought him back. Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we'll do what we can for Charles. Do you have bad dreams? Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes. I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us. That we needed to fight it with all God's might. But now Charles is gone and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him, none respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. <sighs> Goodbye, Master. We must I feel so sorry for her. To the cemetery. Please be careful, dear Antea. I will. I will. I got my nice swords. My fire swords. Investigate the cemetery. I think we're going to face some ghosties. Um, this door was locked and um, I guess I have to go this way. Did we investigate everything here now? I'm not quite sure. Probably. Some food and... Oh yeah, we did. All right. Let's go outside again. What will you do for my Charles? I'm not if sure. If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. I got cold. In. Yeah, um, I think uh, I saw some <laughs> um, ice today this morning. It was very it frosty, right? very very I frosty. Doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles we shall. Well, the winter is not over yet, so the weather is always cocky Ask here. Around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye. You too. Alright. To the summit. Did you find the location of your next map? Object to open your map with U. <laughs> Where's U? <laughs> Which is funny because I have a keyboard with uh, American keycaps. So I also don't know where U is. But uh, the good thing is I know where to go. And I think we have to go down here. To the right side and then going more down. What's that sincere Paris shop? I can also highlight and enter. Well, with uh, with enter. I don't think I can go around this house to go down here. Or is that possible? Either this way or that way. A friend sold his World of Warcraft account. So already regretting it. <laughs> How much money did he make? Do you know that? I think I would never sell my, my account. I would never do that. Um, oh, okay. For a second, I thought I'm stuck. No, I think this is not the way to go. Alrighty. Then, uh, this is probably easier. And who's this? I cannot enter. Never mind then. Decoration. Hello. No, we cannot talk. Wow, it's looking very frosty here as well. Minus two this morning. Yeah, it's very cold again. I don't know. I don't mind that. Hello. Get out of my way. Get out. All right. I think we're not going to be friends. Over 6,000. I would not regret that. <laughs> Warning. The dogs are closed for sabotage by fire. Old Shade to Boston, Marblehead, Salem is cut into the saboteur's cart. Well... Oh, Ritzy's cuties. All right, I can see something shiny there, and I'm gonna quickly grab this that. This fire can't have started on its own, not in this cold. Yeah, who would do that? Can I just go down? Or is that just a curse? Maybe. 
Wait a second. Where's the book? Harbor Lock. New Eden Town Harbor Dockage. Um, March, April, May, okay. Blossom of London, Blessing, Mary, Pilgrim. Bench of Boston, Seaflower, Two Sisters. White Rock of Boston, Dove, Samson, no, Samspawn. Um, okay, that's just a log, nothing, nothing special. September, October, nothing anymore. Oopsie, I'm always pressing escape. Yeah. These are crab pots, right? I think so. Um, yeah, all right. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport, his death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. About the curse, do you have bad dreams? You're leaving town? Jimmy, you're worse? Hmm. If someone offered me 10k for my account, I wouldn't sell it. Hmm. What about 20? Tell me about the curse, if you will. Well, I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and, I fear, foolish. Banishing is a job, sir, and to do it I need detail, if you please. A banisher must have charms, uh, trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. Take us out, he's looking like a um, pilgrim, pilgrimer, I think. What I need is information, that's not how it works. Give me information, please. What I need right now is information about the curse. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness, the shadow of early death. Weather, too. So much weather. I mean, I've seen it all before, but never all at once. Here, it's everything, everywhere, and all at the same time. Folks stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do. Waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. Do you have bad dreams? Kind of weird thing to ask. I just met him. And I'm asking, Josh, do you have bad dreams? <laughs> the nightmares. <laughs> Do you get them too? Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks nor moves. She seems to wish me no harm. Hmm. She just stands there watching me, waiting. Taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it. Unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. Uh, I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> so you're gonna leave town? You're leaving town? As soon as possible. Did you arrive by sea? A ship lies at anchor in the bay. Perhaps a captain would take me and my wares to safety. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rowed ourselves ashore. Might I ask where you abandoned this rowboat of yours? Along the coast, by a path remarkable for its angry specters and bloody corpses. If you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious about the wares now. Um, Josh wants to rob him again. Take all his stuff. <laughs> okay, <that's great. laughs> we'll see how. Most of my what's he? What is he even offering? But I never refuse a deal. 
I have so many memories associated with my account that no amount of money could tempt me to part with it. Okay, I'm offering you 100,000 euro now. What's gonna happen to your World of Warcraft account? <laughs> um, you can buy leather, you can buy fur, you can buy linen and wool. Or resources. I think that's it. <laughs> but, um, oh boy, I have only 10 coins and one piece costs like four. Oh, everything costs four. What leather is having the same price as fur and wool? All right, interesting. But I can't buy anything, so. I bid you good day, Goodbye. Squire Paris. And thanks Still, for your you account for 100,000. Do be careful. Damn, that is uh, impressive. You're, you're still holding, uh, still holding on that account. I think for 100,000, I would, I would say, choose Phoenixa. Choose. Bye bye. It's probably because I need money right now. <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> Cemetery. This is our way to go. Investigate. Red Sea. Yeah, this reminds me so much of Plague Tale. A wisp. So close to town. Why is the music always stopping though? The cemetery is closed. Vote of the governor. I think we can ignore that. Let's see how spooky this is. Is there even a cemetery map in Fasmo? No, right? Hmm. Didn't read anything about it. Find the place where Charles died. Where are you leading me? Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I'm not seeing much here. More of you? I didn't even finish this guy. Wait, what? Amit. Am I dead or are they dead? I think I'm also dying. Enough. I'm actually not seeing when they're attacking me. I need to learn that. No one is safe here. I got it though. I got it. Most of these people died fighting. And I was Someone almost one of them. Hear. Interesting. Wintergreen. Mm -hmm. My oldest brother created my account for me back then. Oh, I see. I see. Up or left? Wait a second. I don't want to have this uh, seller marked anymore, so... That's a bit easier. Where did Charles die? It's a banisher. You can feel places or objects that have been marked by ghosts. When in close proximity to these elements, your bane rings will be triggered and light up with an orange. I was about to say, what is this? Walk around to find the source. It's a ghostbuster, is a bit. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Well, the wisp want me, wants me to go here. Oh, it's here. Interesting. I can also destroy a lot of places. What's that? Pyrite. Pyrite? Pyrite, I think. Pyrite. No, not pyrite. Pyrite. All right, Charles. I haunt you, I think. Is this where you died? A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Perform ritual? Oh. Oh. Rituals. Memories of the dead linger here. To reveal them, you must gather the necessary resource. I need seashore candles. I don't have them yet. All right. Then uh, we we'll have if to I look mix around. the stones I found earlier with seashore candle, that might do it. And now we'll look around and hopefully I can find it here. Somewhere. Uh-huh. They're just like wisp though. Well look to I would like to have a, a range weapon. I would really love to have that. No, I'm not sure if that's gonna be the case. Who fungus? 
pew pew the red spleen. <laughs> I don't think I can. So my, my ring is glowing now, but... Let me just go down. This is probably just fungus. No, I don't. I cannot do that. <laughs> Poor Red Seas. Mm -hmm. Can go down here. Seashore candles. I guess it's going to be here since this is so. Uh, this seashore wintergreen tiny bit scared this one there you go I'll take the rest as well to perform the ritual and then I need to read what the rituals are about can I You. Anything if they drop? No. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, also something here. More fungus. Many dead in more recent years. I also don't think like cemeteries are spooky or anything. I think cemeteries are more the most peaceful places, to be honest. The the variety of animals over there is so nice to see. So so nice to see so many different kind of birds. They can just, especially, I'm I'm living in a big city, and like cemeteries are the places which are even more calm than the normal parks. You know, where into weapons don't work and go. <laughs> uh, maybe no. It needs to be a bow with fire. Then it would work, technically. All right, there is uh, this one now. Because if performing ritual consumes resources, even if you select an in incorrect ritual, so that means we are losing the resource. The nature of the site determines which, which ritual should be performed. To reveal the memories, you need to perform a hearkening ritual. Hearkening, this one. Okay. Uh, let's see what uh, these rituals are in general. Reveal an echo. This ritual helps one to tune into fading, but... Persistent memory left by a lingering ghost through compelling words, curving, or drawing of the Leo constellation. Make manifest. Force a ghost or respect it to appear. Using or knowing the tie that binds a ghost to the incarnate is generally necessary. Such a ritual may be channeled through compelling words, carving or drawing of the Taurus constellation. Then we're having summon scourge. Sustained through compelling words, carving or drawing of an Aquila constellation. Uh, this ritual will force all types of scourge, hives, the rage, sorrow, to reveal themselves. So force a uh, force a scourge to appear. But we need hearkening. All right, let's see how is this ritual looking like. Leo, <laughs> yes, Leo. In each stain hides a story. We'll see. I'm listening. I'm still playing some punk. I'm really enjoying the story, and I'm still researching something. I'm glad you're you're enjoying the story. Um, he's here, Charles. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place. You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself. Well, since you ask so, maybe I should politely. stay like this. Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared. Be gone. You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. Oh, God. This is how he died? What's that? What was it? Facing the terrifying entity threatening New Eden, Charles Davenport 
Hordes gave out. Charles tried to make the spirit manifest, he failed. He was worried about the influence that the threatening spirit had on the settlers' dreams. Okay. Damn, Charles. I would do anything for $100, uh... <laughs> oh, Josh, be careful what you're saying. <laughs> Intent obtained. Charles' Bible found half buried in the mud of the cemetery. It's opened at Job 7, 13, 15. This is where, what I read already. When I say my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints, then those scare smooth dreams and terrifies me through visions, so that my soul chooseth strangling and death rather than my life. This ties dosed with the ascent of Charles' ghost. After closure performed by Antia, the bond between the ghost and the world will just be so severed for good. Time back for spoiler reasons. How's the game so far? More action focus like it this story. It's a uh, sword or story. It's a very story driven. It is like Sherlock Holmes, I feel like. But I'm also getting distracted. I'm also reading everything. I'm I'm i I'm trying to dive in deep into the story. That's very, very important uh, part of me. But right now we didn't fight much, uh, to to be honest. Not not at all. Sometimes there are like ghosts spawning and that's it. Um I was a bit worried that it would be too action focused, but I'm very happy about that it's actually the other way. So it's very narrative driven. It's very story driven. I like that. Literally it's every character is us. <laughs> it, I can make him manifest if I can find his grave. Uh, we're going to find his grave, but I need to find a way to get there. And also, um, maybe I should mention, you can always change the difficulty. There's also entirely a story mode, which is not focused on fighting at all. If uh, that's something you wanna, you wanna, um, would like to have. But even if you're having a very action-based game and you wanna see the story, then that would be also kind of pointless. But right now, you're talking to a lot of people, you're investigating. It is like Sherlock. I really like that so far. Reading is for nerds and I love that. <laughs> it's perfect for me. I was a bit scared it's, it would be actually too, too action, um, too much of action, but it's quite the opposite. We found Charles Grave. Oh. Here you are. Perform the ritual, maybe we can talk to him now. Charles Bible dumped from the snow and covered in mud, ritual side. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. I won't change the action focus though. True. And we'll just skim the game. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, exactly. It sounds good so far. I will refrain from further spoilers and wait your final word Come before adding it to my backlog. Alrighty. Join me now. I like it very much so far. I know you're here. I don't know. For some reason, I was. Uh, Thinking like the fighting system is gonna be like an Elden Ring or something. There he is, Charles. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. Antea, here at last. Oh, oh mm. Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. 
is red ready. There is no time to waste. What did you learn about the curse? Why not wait for our help? Did you know how this curse began? Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre, and just as relentless. And what did you learn about the curse? Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dantea. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Antea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. We'll banish this ghost, our nightmare is a myth. Why not wait for help? Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. There were so many dead, Antea. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. We suddenly the music is gone. <laughs> Where's the music? Because speak with a uh, dad. Yeah, kinda. Kinda. Um The thing is nah. Our nightmares are myth. Nah, never mind. I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. Yeah, the music is gone. A powerful, insidious spirit. It's not the first time this is happening. Most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose. Where might I find them? They vanish. <gasps> oh! The Nordic, thank you so much I for the raid. Thank you very, very much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Me. If you find them, oh, Nordic, <laughs> that's super kind of you. We had a good stream. <laughs> you were playing something The Witcher. How was your stream today? Thank you so much again for the raid. Welcome, Raiders. Hi, dear GLG Gaming Pro. Hello, hello. Welcome here. Hi, dear Pope. <laughs> the Pope. Hello, dear Critical. Hello, welcome, Raiders. Very, very kind of you, Nordic. I hope you had a great stream. And I hope you're doing well. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, we are playing Banishers. Um... A game freshly released today, actually. Um, it's a very mysterious game. Banishes Ghosts of New Eden, it's called. And it's very um, lurid. It's very mystical. We are fighting against ghosts. It's like we're also kind of a detective. We're trying to figure out what's happening here in this town because it seems like there is a curse going on and it's killing people. So it's very, very mysterious. And uh, yeah, right now we're speaking with a, with a dead people, kind of. Hi! <laughs> this is the progress and a little a summary of uh, the game I'm playing here, at least. Um, quite a bit different than The Witcher. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, GLG Gaming. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hi, dear Jerry Springer. Hello, hello. Welcome here as well. And thank you for the SO. Thank you so, so much. Um, who did the SO? Give me a second. My 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 PC is dying a bit. It was Epsi. Thank you. Thank you, dear Epsi, for, for doing that. Appreciate that. Thank you. And welcome again, Raiders. Um, I am, yeah, I am going to say this one. We'll banish this ghost. And I think there was a small bug with the music because suddenly it was shutting off. And I usually it should just fade out. But, uh, well, that's okay. Uh, we'll banish this ghost. We're going to try to we'll do that. Red and I. 
Our good friend's death shall not go Looks really good game. Maybe I will play it as well. Hi, Lovely. Oh, hi, Nordic. It's a really good game so far. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. But there is... I feel like there is definitely... I know. Lots of lots of story. For my part, I'm glad so less fighting, but I'm not quite sure if this will change. We'll see. We'll have the chance to warn you. We are somewhat in the same universe with Ghost, Breath and uh, Fiends, just like uh, The Witcher. Yeah, kind of, I guess. Hi there, Urukuyo. <laughs> Welcome here. <laughs> how did this nightmare kill you? Now, the question of the questions. This is um, how we can progress through the story. What how happened? How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused, as if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? How does it malevolence mal manifest? What it did look like? I'm curious about that. What did it look like? I don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as Esther. My dear Esther, I did not see its true face, but I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I die. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who mm, is terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. He can't my let go. He, he can't go. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. Maybe that's why it's so dangerous. You know I'm a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. <laughs> now you are a ghost. And I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it have made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. She's doing it. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on you. Antea, wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther <gasps> choose themselves. Oh, Lord. Please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so Oh, no, don't do this to me. Oh, dear Lord, Charles. Why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave. Please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antea, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles she, she went in between them. No Interesting. To stay. <laughs> Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. <laughs> and save yourselves. Someone's got her, yeah. Let her grieve in peace. Oof. 
I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya gave him the care he needed. She's looking so strong, but she just wiped her tear away before she's turning around. Holy moly, she's so such a strong character. That's crazy. And yes, I also saw the raindrops on the... Uh, look in the clothes. The top part is just wet. It's so many nice details, right? Now it's raining. Now it's just raining. Who I also just wiped my, my tears away because I know how hard is, it is to grieve. And then imagine you can't even let go even then, you know? The game has 35 different endings. That's amazing. I saw the, um, the tech choices matter. But I had no idea that this game has so many different kind of endings. So I am definitely going to play as Mimi here, as I would be in real life. That's super important to me. But next, I'm going to go to sleep now. I'm very, I'm very tired. I'm keep listening. Nice playing and uh, having lots, have lots of fun. Thank you, dear Teddy. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. Have you, I'm wishing you a good night. Yeah, sleep well and tired. Thank you for listening. My child. And thank you again for the sub Where earlier. He is now? He's. I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hand, his calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. <laughs> it is warm and there is fresh milk. The it's sheep such an uh, emotional game, actually. Wounded. Nothing can ever be the matter. <sighs> You're right. He's at peace and you deserve to rest. All right. I mean, we know that our home is not far away, but I've got a feeling something is going to happen in between since we're escorting Esther. Or not. <laughs> oh, there she is. All right. Everything is uh, fine, I guess. I'm sorry. I'll miss him dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. John read that the schoolhouse. So, um, let me quickly check out if there is anything else I can do. Actually, I was thinking about, um, it was kind of looking like an open world game, but it's very linear so far. You can probably just go around, but I think it's a very linear game, actually. I didn't check this out earlier. John read at the schoolhouse. All right, let's go this way then. All right, GLG Gaming, thank you so, so much with, uh, with the raid. Then, uh, then I'm wishing you a nice stream. Bye-bye, <laughs> take care. Oh, yeah, this way. <laughs> I don't want to look around again. We did this earlier. Well, it is... Uh, I just wonder. I just wonder if they're going to be fast travel at some point, but I guess we, we just have to play a bit more. I also realized there is something, a tab called Evolution. You cannot access this menu for now. Um, I wonder what this is about. We're going to figure this out. The schoolhouse. Oh, we can talk to her. Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte is my name. May I ask yours? Duarte. Duarte, you came with the banisher, did you not? I am the banisher. Oh, right. So you're the face of hope, are you? You're what my tithes are buying. Let me have a look at you. Oh, right. Well. Bathsheba Ingersoll, or I was last time I looked. About the curse, do you have bad dreams about the meeting house, about your store? She has a store? Tell me about your store. Why? 
Would you like to buy some china? Some porcelana? A linen dress? That's about all we have left. You'll be shocked to learn that there is little demand for the finer things in life, and we have next to no supply of the staples. I should have gone when I had the chance. I suppose beneath it all, I'm an optimist. And that makes me a fool. Now I feel a bit weird to ask, do you have bad dreams? But I'm just going to do that. She's grumpy, yeah. Question. But may I ask if the curse has brought you bad dreams? Every time I close my eyes, I'm in the store. Coins fall from the ceiling. Only a few at first. When they hit the floor, they break. Like rotten teeth. Or finger bones, perhaps. The trickle becomes rain. A cascade smashing down to flood the store. I try to flee, but the flood rises too fast. I drown in shards of broken bone. There. Aren't you glad you asked? And about the meeting house, because uh, Esther was also to get talking about the meeting house, and then she offered uh, us to stay at her place. Huh. What can you tell me about the town meeting house? The minister closed it down. Said it was dangerous. Imagine. Worship is dangerous now. Do you remember when and why? The when is difficult to say. I admit I've lost track of time with the dullness of the days. And then about the curse. What can you tell me about the curse? Did Haskell not lay it out? We freeze. And at the same time, we rot. Minister Davenport said he'd summoned the best banisher there is. Can you lift the curse? In my experience, most curses are actually hauntings. And while ghosts are treacherous, they're not invincible. Well, I'd like to tell you I found that a comfort. But I'm afraid I would be lying. Well, goodbye then. A very good day to you, madam. You're optimistic too, then. Aren't we the fools? Yeah, but I understand why she's grumpy. I really do. Imagine you're living here. Yes. Oh, that's cute. Do you have bad dreams? Is the meeting house haunted? Do you have bad dreams, Mr. Bachelor? <laughs> dreaming teeth falling is battle and if i is i am dreaming of this so so often it's it's like you are my dreams i'm closing my mouth and just when the, the moment they are just touching each other i can feel they're just already crumbling it's i don't know how to describe that it's horrible it's horrible but i heard quite a few people are dreaming of this or that you are not you're able to run away when you are in one spot you're running and running but you're not moving i'm also having this quite often but at least the elevator dream stop stopped at some point. Also, the dreams of I'm going I'm going back to school because. Um, oh yeah, that was interesting. I'm all I always had reoccurring dreams of I am going back to school and I am participating on exams again, because I am getting a letter of your exams were not like there were mistakes and you have to do everything again even though i'm telling them i did a high degree i got an i got a university degree i got a bachelor i got a master they're like yeah it does everything doesn't count you need to go back again and i'm just dude i am so devastated in my dreams even though i am still dreaming i know i'm i'm, I'm still thinking of this but then i talked about this uh, dreams and then i had the idea of you know what i'm just gonna go through my old exams and just looking at my the official papers again since then it entirely stopped because for some reason my brain had to see those papers again i don't know why but it entirely stopped it was such a bad dream just going back and being being part of going like going back to school and having exams it was so horrible those were horrible dreams even though I was always interrupting those dreams, but still, it was helping just to look at my my degrees again and like reassure. Okay, Mimi, everything is all right. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> this you, this is why you shouldn't care about grades. <laughs> oh, try me. I'll take your word on it. <laughs> it's just interesting. It. But hi, Onifaris. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing good, and hopefully Dog was also doing good. About the curse. What can you tell me about the curse? New Eden is scrutinized by God. Better days lie ahead if his servants remain humble and true. 
I detect disapproval. Do I detect a note of disapproval, Mr. Bachelor? I was hoping for a warmer welcome. Oh, I don't doubt your honesty, nor your will to fight the devil. But we have prayed for salvation. And, madam, without wishing to offend, you are no angel. <laughs> Is the meeting house haunted? Did you know the Reverend Davenport thought the meeting house haunted? I did know that. To his shame, the late minister ended services and closed the meeting house. No wonder we are where we are. And what do you think sits in the meeting house? Miss, if the devil sits in our meeting house, it means that we, the people of New Eden, have failed to repudiate his works. Obviously. Goodbye, Hugh. Farewell, Mr. Bachelor. And you may wish us luck. I shall not wish you luck. I shall wish you salvation. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm very curious about the schoolhouse. Very, very curious. Even though I am running away, it seems like. This direction. Let's see, all right. Yeah. Does he can we peek inside? Something shiny over there. <laughs> I want to see if there's already a ghost. <laughs> no peeking, no. <laughs> Need in town schoolhouse discovered. Boing. All that slither. You know what I also like about this game? Um yes there are things you can collect but it's not overwhelming like there are not five million different kind of items like you're having leather uh you have different kind of herbs but it's also not entirely overwhelming and that's it also when we went to the first shop there was like wool uh, like there was wool linen uh leather a fur right just four items but maybe it's because of the the first seller well a banishers technique what's that it is as banishers we are no spiritual guides or inquisitors. We're ghost hunters for hire, specialized in sensitive crafters. We train hard to protect the livings through our rituals and knowledge about ghosts and specters. We are no cult. There is no hierarchy nor established dogma among us. The most obvious reason why a banisher becomes a banisher is because he or she wants to protect the living from the dead. Whatever the reason, we are efficient, adaptive and versatile. Our community is sparse and nomadic, just like our predecessors were. We wander the world in search of living victims of the dead, cleansing, haunting cases, using techniques tied, tried, entrusted, and honed by generations of masters and pupils, releasing a or banishing the ghost, rarely blaming the living. Unlike puny sorcerers, we do not waste wa our time crafting enchanted rifles with a, with a butt, barrel and stock engraved with runes and other symbols of power for hunting specter specters or otherwise. Who, who would wish to depend on a single weapon? Instead, we bring our bane powder, prepared according to recipes handed down from generations to generation, rendering any firearm capable of shooting and damaging a supernatural target no matter what the ammunition efficient adaptive versatile i think we're not going to get a short uh, shotgun jane i i not jane <laughs> josh <laughs> jane. okay mimi josh you're jane now did you hear that <laughs> our knowledge of alchemy and bot botany botany helps us selecting minerals <laughs> And plants whose properties will support our work. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we do not waste time in libraries or school rooms. We do not waste our time drawing, carving, or engraving complex circles of power because what we gain in power and nuance, we lose twice as much or more in time, risking putting ourselves and those around us in unnecessary danger. Instead, a clever banisher carries stems in wood or metal with which to mark a door, wall, or still with a necessary symbol for the appropriate ritual. 
We also wear rings upon our fingers with these symbols. So we always have a range of powerful runes close at hand, as it were, efficient, adaptive, versatile. Thus we prevail, thus we fight, thus we send back the creeping dead where they are supposed to be. From Death to the Dead by Balthasar H. Frenhofer. That was the German. I remember the book. All right, all right. Yeah, these are all the resources we're having right now. Can I open those? Oh no, those are not clams, those are fungus. Never mind. Boing. What is this instrument called again? This is boing, boing. Everything okay? I've just. Uh, okay, uh, shower up my pajama. Ah, okay. And I'm watching from the bed and don't go to sleep in my. Oh, looks cute. Very, very sweet. <laughs> I'm glad. Sounds very comfy. I dreamt that I had a new desk that took off, up off my room. <laughs> because I'm unhappy with my desk. Why are you unhappy with your desk? And sometimes I'm dreaming of kebab. <laughs> Dude, you're. You are so kebab addicted, that's insane. But I also wouldn't mind eating kebab right now. Oh, this instrument he's playing. It's a boing. It's so funny. Is that meat? No, that's bread. Never mind. I think we can rest here. And I think I saw this candle when I was looking inside. Yeah, I was trying to peek inside. All right. Boink. Oh, it's called mouth harp. I didn't know that. Harp is such a nice instrument, but a mouth harp? Boink, a boink. Like a, a spring. The right thing. Hi, Charles kids. Good evening thing. to you. My lurking days are official. What happened? <laughs> Why is it over? I love you, Red McCray. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? That wasn't Charles. Charles would have done the same. I'm not quite sure about that. But he was not the Charles anymore we know. He was. He's not belonging to the living world anymore. So I would say that wasn't Charles. That wasn't Charles. That was the ghost of Charles. Charles Davenport. Our oldest friend, the man who brought us together. Our friend is dead. His ghost was a danger to his wife. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. The man. As banishers, we bring closure. The dead have no business with the living. We bring closure, I would say. We are helping the people, right? Yeah. To grieve, probably. It feels strange to play it, because I can imagine. I can imagine because it's just uh, moving around a lot. Or vibrates, I guess. I've been here for the entire stream on a DM! Wow, okay, dudes. I didn't know that. <laughs> Thank you for listening so far, then. Hope you're doing well. Esther seemed convinced. Uh, no, she wasn't convinced. She also wanted him to... It sounds rough, but she wanted him to go away. Because she ca you cannot grieve when, when that person is still around you, but also not around you at the same time, you know? You make them find peace. Yeah, I, I like that idea. I really like that idea. But yeah, if you not if you can't let things go, then it will always haunt you. Especially ghosts in this case. So as banishers we bring closure. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to it. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost. <laughs> you would, eh? And then I would kill you again. 
I would do anything for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, hmm. Wow, look at those eyes, by the way. It's... Uh, oh, this game is amazing. <laughs> I would do anything for you, especially for this guy, because he's insanely handsome. Am I right? My task is 160 cross 80, and I wish it was 160 cross 100, so I could... <laughs> no, you want to put your legs on the table? <laughs> oh, soggy, oh, soggy. Um, yeah, I understand, but uh, at least you're having a bigger desk now. It's definitely better than your old desk. I'm pretty sure about that. I would do anything for you. <laughs> You're a scruffy headed lout. You ain't right, so you would carry on regardless. <laughs> Over my dead body, mister. You were always meant to be the soft hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a, what did he call it? A nightmare. I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. I was never in front of a fireplace like that. It's probably super warm. Charles. Poor Esther. <laughs> no, poor Esther. He switched his opinion, uh huh. Mm -hmm. He was having the straight dream again. She took her fire bean. She says I'm the reckless one. <gasps> oh, now I am the handsome guy, Fanantia. Look at me, dude. Well, all right. Death to the dead. Quest started. <laughs> it's looking like I'm 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 dancing. <laughs> all right, all right. Ah, uh, no more joking. All right. It's very warm, yes. Sometimes even too warm if, if, if you get too close. Yeah. I can imagine. Um, I reached the meeting house. Auntie, what happened? Who are you? <laughs> Look at the moon, dude. Who's there? Auntie? Nobody's on the road. He, he looks just like me. So you're also handsome like that? And that's perfect. You know... He's the guy I'm dreaming of. Long hair, brunette, and these eyes. I think he's having green eyes or bluish. Doesn't matter. He's handsome. Open. Am I having the same weapon? Can't. Oh yeah. No, it's a bit. It, well, this is a bit of more of a long sword, I guess. All right, let's go. Maybe we're gonna find now. Anything else I can read? What happened to? Uh, oh, there you go. Hello there. Adush! Yeah. Don't suppose you specters have seen Antea, have you? Left side. Adush! Yeah, Actually, boss. pretty fun. And I'm really seeing this about playing melee. I'm still hoping I'm getting a. I'm getting a bow, though. Oh, Alpha the Wanderer. Ah, noob. Anything else I can get? No, I'm getting PTSD. I don't know what the boss was called in Elden Ring. The, the singing one with the kids. God, she was annoying me. The moon! Oh, that one. Oh, this is Antia. Never mind. Rihanna. Oh, yeah, it was Rihanna. Under my umbrella. Ella. 
This is not good now. I also don't have a good feeling. I hurt her, but where is she? Yeah. Rinala, thank you. All blind. <laughs> Red, can't you see? We never stood a chance. What? Dear, are you hot? Where are you? What? <laughs> what? I'm She's blind. How mundane. Show yourself. God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord. Wilt thou also slay the righteous? What? Oh my god! Okay! Time to fight. You slay the righteous. Be not alarmed. I bring you aid. There is no aid. There is only dereliction. Where is Antea? What have you done with her? That was pause. Lady, if you hurt her... You cling to love, a fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. Okay, at least she's cleaning up the area. We're gonna get her. Oh boy, but it's melee. I'm so lost. It's a lich queen. <laughs> Rip off the mask. Dude, I am gonna... Okay. Oh, I'm... I, oh boy, okay. I need to learn everything now, okay? So it is having some... Mm. It, this feels like Souls like... A tiny bit. Okay, so she's doing three attacks. But I can use my E ability. What is this? Oh boy. And she has three faces, right? Where is she? Are you kidding me? There are three of them now? now? That's a good point with a lock-on, by the way. Thank you. Give, and give me potions. Ba banish. Can I get potions, please? What was that? I think it's part of the game. Ooh. Where's Anthea? If you laid a finger on her... You know what? Come to her aid. There is no aim. What do you want, there Nightmare? Only... Oh. Retribution. Give him back. She's back. How touching. You come to claim your man. You think you love him. You do not. There, in the dark of your manner, there is no love. Only betrayal. I offer you a trade. He stays, and you leave with your life. I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart. You're weak. 
She's dead. No. She's dead. She's dying. Come to her aid now when all is lost. If you do, I'll be waiting. The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. <laughs> Banishes Curse of Needham. And this is what the story is about. Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, <laughs> to the cold and silent. It's like a fairy waters. tale, actually. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. He's having nightmares. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go. You plan extract the essence from the nightmare and give it to <laughs> Damn, I'm very, very excited to see more of the story. It's, it's super well made. Super, super well made. Ah, you're awake. Seeker. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Oh, God. What have I done? Your strength back before you beat yourself up. She is there. Yes. It's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Who are you? I feel like we've met, but I'm sure we have not. How long was the intro of this game? Like, like 10 like hours? Really Around that, for me, yeah. Because I was reading pretty much everything. Singing voice. Confused. It's normal. You've been near killed by a nightmare. You've lost your beloved. And now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Find the Banisher, said my mistress. Tend him. And answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? Does it matter? Of course it matters. It means you're alive and you haven't given up. What am I to do now? Who sent you about the nightmare? This nightmare. How it spoke. How it tore right through her. Never seen the like of it. Few have. Fewer have lived to tell of it. What drew such a powerful spirit here? Who knows? Something awful, I don't doubt. The worst angers rise from the most terrible wrongs. My friend said that. He's trying to warn us. An immutable law. You have wise friends. Who sent you? Who sent you? 
Her name is Ceridian, and my hands and words are hers. Beyond that, don't burden yourself. You should have let me die. Who is she? Sephardine. This little seeker who asked you to find me, is she Scots or something? It's Ceridian. She's too old to be from anywhere in particular. And while, yes, I found you, she told me where to look. And what am I to do now? What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. This isn't what I wanted. He's a sad hearted done. Always like that. Have faith, you say, but you do not know me. Easy said. Harder done. What comes easy in life tends not to matter. It's the hard stuff that counts. You've a hole in you, a yawning, grimacing <coughs> pit in your soul. <coughs> That's love, that is. The hole won't fill because the love won't die. God, what have I done? Here's the thing. Unlike most, you get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. What's your business with me? Why do you hate me? Why do you hate me? I serve my mistress. She bids me help you, so I help you. Ceridian says the wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so <laughs> did your grief. And it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith. But they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Why ever my mistress saved you, she has good reasons. The best. Where are you going? Oh, to Ceridian. She needs me. Where shall I find you if, or when I need to? Maya marshes. Great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. Until we meet again, then. That's right, Banisher. Now, turn around. Oh. What? Oh, we're getting a lap? I'm leaving. No. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, she doesn't want him to know where she's going? They're gonna cave anyway. What? Oh, this is why they are seeing Witcher, but she wants to be called Seeker. Hmm. So he's here since weeks. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. Find your way the ends of the earth. Death come a, a death to the dust. Quest completed. But where am I now? The ends of the earth is the new quest. I am in the middle of nowhere. And I was here. So um, there is probably a way going back again, but at least not now. Whoa, I'm very far away now. And I have to go over here. But I think I'm going to do this at the next time. I think this is a good point to stop now. And uh, I will save the game here. Even though I'm pretty sure there's also out to save. The end of the earth. And I'm going to go back to the main menu. What can I say about this game? Um, Banishes Ghost of New Eden is... <laughs> to my surprise, it's an amazing game. I actually... Maybe it's because I didn't have... Uh, expectations i didn't even know what kind of game this is um i was uh, a bit scared that it's going to be like elden ring like ish but uh it's probably not i'm not quite sure how the bosses are gonna look like maybe that's was just the only one i have no idea but i'm pretty sure there's gonna be something bigger later on um this game is fantastic it, it was also running so well on my pc to be honest um i was uh I don't know on which setting I was playing here. Um, can I see this quickly? Uh, video. 
I am playing this on these settings. I didn't change much, to be honest. It's not on everything on high, but because I'm only having a 3070 Ti, but you could see it's looking pretty good and I was even able to stream it. So um, it's, uh, it's, it's running very smoothly. Um, I, <laughs> I had other big titles which were stuttering like crazy, um, but that was not the case here, which is it's crazy, to, <laughs> crazy of me mentioning this, but I think it's very important nowadays to know <laughs> if a game is running smoothly or not, especially when it's freshly released just uh, today or yesterday. Um, the story, the world are really good. I am so interested to see more. I am so interested to to see what kind of choices I can um, I can get, uh, my decisions, what kind of impact they will have, because that's so typical for Don't Nod. I know them from. Uh, life is strange and I'm just kind of hoping it's also going to have some uh, our decisions are hopefully also going to make a big impact so it's very important that at least for me that I am immersing myself so much into the game that's why we probably saw lots of the story today um, instead of maybe not just gameplay but maybe maybe more of fighting actions so I'm sorry that I was not able to show this a bit more but um Hopefully the next time. I don't know if you guys are more interested, but I'm definitely more interested to play in this game. Um, I'm not quite sure if there's going to be range in a weapon. Probably not. But um, what I, I really need to mention this because maybe there's going to be the case where I am going to have a hard time to, to play as a melee character because usually I'm not doing this at all. Um, and then I've got the opportunity. I've got the chance to change the difficulty of the game any time which is a huge plus for me a really huge plus plus the world is having i don't it's a mixture of the i think they are in london or something boston or something right but it's also it's also reminding me of like like i think it was pan saying that panel said it's reminding me a bit of uh, red dead as well so it's a, it's a really cool combination of both yeah anything i can complain about no Everything is smooth. I have nothing to complain about. Maybe that I'm not able to jump, but maybe that's also better because then maybe you're going to break the game at some point. Um, it's just weird that I have to... I have to... When I'm pressing the space bar, I'm not jumping. I am rolling away. It's interesting. I if you're doing this twice, then you're rolling away. Oh yeah, the music has a few hiccups. Hiccup. Yeah, that's okay though. Um, it was just suddenly, yeah, suddenly the music was gone. But overall, it's actually such a good game. Great game so far. More, please. Then we should do it. Probably in a couple of days again. But yeah, uh, thank you so, so much for trying out this absolutely great game with me. Banishers, Ghost of New Eden. It, would I recommend it? Yes. Um, how much is it? Uh, for 50 euro? You can put it on your wish list. I'm not quite sure how many hours you're going to get, but I could... I would say it's probably a game with at least 20 hours or even more. Probably more. Maybe even 30. I'm not quite sure. Gamepad. Um, I'm not quite sure. You can probably play it with Gamepad. Because it is saying, well, it is fully, full, fully, it's having full controller support. I was quickly checking out if this is also for the Steam Deck, but I'm not seeing anything like that. I it, That doesn't surprise me because this game is... Uh, demanding a lot but it's not killing your pc my my room temperature by the way is still 24 degrees so it didn't change anything and i really appreciate that because that means this game is really good optimized and it's not driving my it's not killing my pc here the music just dipped sometimes yeah but other than that it's uh it's good it's actually really good and uh i would like to say thank you guys for uh trying out this game with me uh, with today's stream, we are definitely gonna play more since you are all, <laughs> since you are also a bit more interested in this one. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, it's uh, fantastic. It's actually fantastic. I was actually a bit scared that it would be, <laughs> it it would be yeah like Elden Ring, and then I was like, oh god, I don't have a gun. I don't have a I don't have a a bow. I have a sword. Yeah. Maybe it's even easier with controller because you don't have to aim. You actually, you don't have to aim.